is sponsored by Youth Beauty Hair Collection. And before we get started, make sure you guys ring that bell and hit the like button. Okay, they sent me three bundles of tape-ins, and this is the kinky straight um, texture. I have already pressed her hair out. She just got a silk press, and I'm taking Main Life Collection 3 tenths flat iron, and I'm just using that to straighten the hair that's on her um, hairline so everything is nice and sleek and clean for when I get ready to uh, style. So I've already um, parted her hair off in sections where I'm going to be getting to apply the tape ends. Uh, I did pre um, like peel all of the tapes off. Um, of like several tracks before I got started to help speed up the process. So I definitely recommend doing that. Um, it saves a whole lot of time, like a ho ho ho. So <laughs> um, all I'm doing is sandwiching two pieces of hair or wefts, tapes, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. Sandwiching those two in between each other. I'm not doing the hair really really full because she has fine hair and she has a small head and I don't want it to be like super super full and then like flat at the top because it's not like regular tracks so you can't put the hair too close um, in the top because it's, it's going to show and especially when they have um, fine hair. And her hair is relaxer free. She does not have a relaxer on her hair. So I did like the fact that this hair um, was like kinky or whatever. So um, it's not so silky because, you know, she's natural. So it definitely worked out. Um, I love the texture. Now, I will say the tapes weren't as tacky, some of them. So I really had to like squeeze the pliers to get the two to sandwich between each other but um spraying holding spray on the hair before you put the tape on it does help to give the hair like a little tackiness to it um to help the tape stick So the hair has been all installed and we are just putting it up in the ponytail just so you can see how flat it is and show her the versatility, um, you know, she can have in her hair <laughs> or with her hair, shall I say. taking my Paul Mitchell Neural Smooth Flat Iron and I have it on like 410. I did not um, do like a hard press on the weave. For one, I already pressed her own hair and I don't want to give her heat damage even though I am trying my best to just flat iron the weave and not her hair. Um, so I don't want it to be like straight, straight. I actually like some of the texture in the hair because it actually just makes it look more believable and looks more like her hair.
I'm going to get started with a little bit of Mane Glaze. It's a heat protectant and it also adds some extra shine to the hair. I'm um, just going to massage that in her hair all over really well. I've already did like her little hairline or whatever um, because this is not really a tutorial. This is a hair review. Um, putting some long layers in. Careful not to cut her hair and go up too high. Because of the textures, I can see exactly like where I'm cutting. So I know I'm not cutting any of her real hair, um, which is a plus. And this is a one and a quarter um, flat iron or barrel curl or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't even know. I believe I got this from Sally's like a long time ago. I am going to upgrade, but I don't really do weave like that. So it kind of defeats the purpose. So I don't know, y'all. Just taking a little bit of Main Life's Collection Wax and just laying that hair down in the front so it's nice and sleek. It's a little windy out, so we want our hair to stay in place. And voila, she's going to go home and wrap it anyway. I know her. Like, she is one of those people that is going to wrap her hair. So it was like, <laughs> no need to even doing all that extra stuff. But make sure you guys like, comment, and ring that bell. And I'll see you guys again for the next video.